Culture Shock in Japan Part Two. Dom everyone, o g e desu ka? y n a desu. Nori desu. For today's video, we're going to talk about culture shocks in Japan. This is the second video of the series, and we've covered some others in a previous video. We've pasted the link to the video in the description box below. If you're interested, please go check it out. Let's hajime m a s h o And we've chosen five culture shocks that we experience in Japan. And the first one is Japanese bullet trains. Japanese bullet trains? Mm -hmm. Aren't they called Shinkansen? Yes, the Shinkansen. Have you ever been on one before? Yeah, only once in 2018. Oh, nice. It's praised for many reasons, but the main one is its punctuality.、Mm. The trains are never late. That isn't usual in other countries, honestly. No, not at all. According to research, the yearly average delay time for each train is 20 to 30 seconds. 20 to 30 seconds? Right, I know, right? That's insane.、Mm -hmm. It's incredibly fast, too. Do you know how fast it goes? Well, you might not believe me, but 270 kilometers per hour. Wow. That's two hours and 25 minutes from Tokyo to Shin Osaka. Oh, that's surprisingly quick. Yeah, and it's really convenient, you know? Mm hmm. It's also super comfortable and clean. Right. It's so smooth and stable that it doesn't feel like you're even riding on a train. Right, it's like you're floating on a cloud. I also remember the snack carts,、mm -hmm. and it reminded me of Harry Potter. Ah, right, I see what you mean. So, do they only sell snacks? Nope. They sell way much more. For example, alcoholic beverages, just beverages in general, and bento. Mm, so, bento is a Japanese lunchbox.、Mm, so,、mm. it is available to eat inside of a shinkansen. And the second culture shock that we want to talk about are the taxis. Taxis! Right. So, in Japan, the doors of the taxis open automatically. That surprised me a lot. Right, me too.、Mm. I went to go and open the door, and then. I know, right? Right. So, be careful not to force to open the door because you might break a taxi door. <laughs> exactly. And when you're leaving as well,、uh, don't shut the door. They、mm. will close it for you. And sometimes they get angry that you're trying to close it. Right, right,、yeah. right, right. <laughs> Though, as much as I would ride taxis outside of Japan,、mm -hmm. for example, in Korea, America, or other countries, I don't ride taxis that much here、mm -hmm. in Japan because they are super expensive. Yeah. I guess,、mm. I guess. They are quite expensive. And once it passes a certain time, they kind of raise the prices as well. Yeah. yeah. And it just like goes up so quickly. Right. And I'm always just sitting there anxiously looking at the meter. <laughs> That wasn't only me, huh? Yeah, yeah I, th I think everyone does it. It's just like, oh, stop! <laughs> <laughs> In general, the fare s t a r t from around 400 to 700 Japanese yen. Which is around three to six US dollars.、Mm, and that's a bit pricey. That is pricey because that's the moment you get on. And it stays that way for the first two kilometers or so. And every 300 and 400 meters from then on, you get charged around a dollar. That's crazy. And the meter keeps on running even if you're stuck for a prolonged period of time. No! Yeah. So 10 pm to 5 am? Yeah. This rate is increased by 20%. I would rather walk. Well, I, I tried many of times. I tried to get home in the middle of the night without using taxis. And I was walking for three or four hours. Really? Yeah. Just because I didn't want to pay the taxi price. I respect you. Third culture shock is queuing up in Japan.、Mm. You can commonly see Japanese people lining up in front of a restaurant or a cafe when you come to Japan. This wasn't that surprising at first when I came to Japan、mm -hmm. because in Korea it's a bit similar. When a restaurant or a cafe is、mm. well known and very popular, then people just tend to line up and wait for the restaurant or cafe to open or to eat something, do whatever activity they're planning to do. That's crazy because in the UK, if there was a long queue at restaurants, we'll just go somewhere else.、Mm. So, why do people queue up in Japan? Japanese people are really sensitive to the recent trends、mm -hmm. and they keep a close eye on what the talk of the town is.、Mm. Especially if that certain store or shop has been introduced on a TV program, Japanese people wouldn't mind queuing for long hours. Wow, like, I don't understand. I can't understand. Why Japanese people? The queues are very orderly, too. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes they have markers on the floor to show people where to queue,、mm. and pushing in line is a big no no. Yeah, never. Number four is the fact that Japan is still very much a cash based country.、Mm. 
So one of the biggest tips that Japanese people and people who've been to Japan before give out to tourists is to bring cash no matter what. Mm. Yeah, so that's like a famous tip that everybody knows and that's how well known it is. All right, remember that. This depends on the store and also the region. Mm. Tokyo is pretty advanced, so more and more places are accepting digital payment methods and cards as well. Mm. But for the other parts of Japan, there are still a lot of cash only places. And the final culture shock in Japan is the smoking culture. Mm. It took me a while to get used to how a lot of restaurants and bars allow indoor smoking. I know, right? Even bullet trains had carriages designated for smokers. I really didn't know that. Yeah, it was really smoky. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot of places have changed the rules due to the Olympics, but they still have designated smoking areas within the establishments or in the bullet trains. Mm. In other countries, I do believe that there may be some restaurants that have a designated room for smoking or different smoking rooms in different cafes. Mm -hmm. Though, in Japan, by allowing to smoke indoors doesn't mean that there's a wall or there's another room divided. It's just that everybody's in the same space, for example, in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we just have one sign that differentiates the spaces. So we're still breathing all the same air. Right, it's just one part of the room is smokers and one part of the room is non-smokers. Yeah, so for non-smokers, it might be really inconvenient or uncomfortable. Okay, so that's all the culture shocks that we want to talk about for today. Were there any ones that shocked you the most? Please let us know in the comments below. If you liked our video, don't forget to press that like button and to subscribe to our channel. This is it for today and we'll see you in the next video. Ja, ja mata ne! Japanese... Uh, <laughs> Japanese. Japanese people. <laughs> this is it for today, and we'll see you in the next video. Ja, ja, ne. Oh, ja, ne. <laughs> Every <laughs> time. <laughs>